This video shows you how to make a graph of some variable across the categories of some other variable. Specifically, I'm going to make a bar graph of the variable race separately for men and women. And so you can see that I have my uh, random sample of 20 cases from the general social survey, and I've limited my data just to two variables, race and sex. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just change the sort order. And so if I go up here to the data tab, uh, I can click sort. And what I need to do is I need to sort the data by two variables. I'm going to sort it by sex, and then within the values of sex, I'm going to sort it by race. And so if I just add a level here, that allows me to sort it by two variables. So first, I'm going to sort it by sex, and then within sex, I'm going to sort it by race. I'm going to click OK. And so if I zoom out, notice that the data are sorted so that uh, all the men come first, and then all the women. Also notice that within these sexes, uh, it's sorted by race. So this is done correctly. So just to make this easier, I'm going to add two rows here. And I'm going to copy these headings. This will make it easier when I eventually make the, the pivot tables, uh, which I need to make the graphs. OK, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my data for, for just the men. And I'm going to insert a pivot table. And so if I go here to Insert, Pivot Table, notice my data are already selected. So I just need to tell Excel where I'm going to put the data. So I'm going to put it in my existing worksheet. And I click here in Location. And I'm going to put it right here. So now to complete this, I just need to put a check mark next to race, move it down to where it says row labels. And I'm going to change this in the field values setting from sum to count. I'm going to click OK. And so that, that finishes my uh, pivot table for the men. I'm going to have to do the same thing now for the women. So again, I highlight my data. I'm going to click Insert. And I'm going to click Pivot Table. And again, I've already selected my data range. So I just have to tell you know, uh, Excel where I'm putting this. So I'm going to put it in an existing worksheet. And let's put it right here. We'll click OK. And again, I'm going to click a check mark next to Race, move it down to Row Labels. And I'm going to change the field value setting from Sum to Count. So I'll click OK. And so I can zoom out. And so notice that I've got my two pivot tables. Now, just to make this a little bit easier, uh, I recommend highlighting both of these tables, copying them, and then right-clicking, and then pasting special, only pasting the values. So let's do this both for men and women. And uh, so we have to put some value labels to these categories. So these are white, these are black, white, black, and other. So notice that other is missing here. So we actually have to add a column for uh, a row for, for other. So we'll just add other, and we'll make it equal to 0. OK, so the next thing we have to do is we have to actually create our graph. And so we're going to do this first by, by highlighting the, the uh, men's information. And then here uh, in the Insert ribbon, we're going to click on Column, and we're going to add a column bar graph. OK, so here's our graph. So notice that it has only the men's information right now. But we can change that. And so if we, we right click it, we can go to Select Data. And in Select Data, we have two series right now. Well, only one, but we're going to add a second series. And so the first series here is going to be men. So if we click on Edit, we can change the name of this to Male. And we click OK. And now uh, we're going to add a second series. That will be the one for the females. So if we add this, uh, we have to highlight the women's data. Right, so let's let's call this female, and we'll just get rid of whatever's in here and put an equal sign, and we're going to highlight the data for the women, and then we're going to click OK, and then OK again, and so you can see that uh, our bar graph now has a bar for both men and women, along with a legend, and so basically that that's the graph that we that we wanted to have uh, in the end. And so what's the pattern here? Well, notice that we could have used either frequencies or percentages. But in this case, because the number of men and number of women is the same, uh, we're going to get the same answer regardless of which one we use. And so here you can see that there are actually more uh, white women than white men. So eight white women, so only six white men. However, there's more black men than there are black women. And then, of course, there's, there's one more uh, woman who's, who's in the other racial category than men. And so that concludes uh, this uh, video.